Hey everyone, Kevin Ross here, and I was in the middle of vlogging when the UPS guy actually dropped off the wireless charger for the Nexus 5 here. Um, we're going to test this out with the Spigen Slim Armor case. I've also got a Nexus 7 over here with a case on it as well, and we're going to see how well this charges or if it actually charges with the case on it. There was a question in the community, and I wanted to answer it. So, wireless charger here, why don't we dive in and we'll check it out for the first time. Even if, whether it works or it doesn't work, you're watching this video anyway, I'm still uploading the video because I'm all about real world experiences. So I'm not going to finagle anything here. This is how it's going to work. We're going to see for the first time together. All right, so let's dive in. Okay, so this is an inductive wireless charging pad, as I said, from Chotech. We'll go ahead and just break it out of the box here for the first time. And pretty simple. Okay, that's it in a nutshell or a clamshell or not so much a clamshell. Okay, so you've got the charging pad here. Oh, a couple of directions it looks like. Wireless charger. I like the fact that they put the rubber feet on here, so that way if you set it on your desktop here, it doesn't really slide. Got a USB cable here. I'll set that aside for a second. Looks like we've got instructions. Gives you the output. Um, looks like the charging parameters, the input voltage, output transmission, and whatnot. You guys can read through all of this stuff. Looks like it pictures a Nexus 4 as an example, but again, the description online had included the oh there you go nexus 5 product introduction so we've got the nexus 7 second edition i've got that over there they are both in cases and we will see if they charge now here's the thing oh let me go to here and show you that it looks as if you know so you plug it in the wall so um, of course the nexus 5 or nexus devices come with a an adapter so you can just plug this right in you know what i'm going to do i'm going to do a use case here for plugging this in the back of my computer why don't we see that? All right, so we know we can have a use case where we plug it into the wall, but how about the USB port on the back of a computer? So I am plugging it into the back of my iMac right now. Okay, it's plugged in. Now, of course, the LED on the front does not light up unless it is charging. So we'll set it here. And we have the Nexus 5 with the Spigen Slim Armor case. Let me zoom out there. Spigen, slim armor case, polycarbs on the back. Well, it looks like we've got a charge. Yep, says charging 77%. You can see the LED blinking. Maybe that would bug somebody if for some reason they were putting this at their bedside. So it looks as if it charges. Now this is a pretty thick case as well on the Nexus 7, as you can see. This is not my Nexus 7, this is actually my kiddo's Nexus 7. I uh, got this for him for his birthday, lucky duck. All right. Now it is blinking, but the screen didn't come on. Oh. Yep, it says it's charging because it's charged. It was actually plugged in earlier. Let me see if we can zoom in on that. So it says charged and it is charging up here. Well, there you have it, community. It works. Slim Armor case. We've got another case here, Bob J. Gear. Um, it's a thick case that my kid uses. It works. Just set it down and it charges. Fantastic. My wife's going to love this because she's actually having a difficult time, uh, especially when she's half asleep or whatever, trying to plug this thing in. So we're going to put it on the bedside table and she's just going to lay the Nexus down like so. Thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, questions, concerns, feedback. Subscribe to the channel. Appreciate all of the views. Thanks so much.